It's not like someone would actually miss homework and crowded bus riding and manic soccer fields and shabby family dinners in. But as I say this to the boy, I realize that's not true. This show reminded me a lot of The Little Prince, the French novel. Hi, I'm Emily Breeze. I'm the artistic resident here at Long River Theater. One of my favorite things about the show is the way that uh, Simon as a character is so relatable to a lot of different ages. He says um, in one scene that his brain feels like a diary that's run out of pages, and I feel that way literally all the time. Uh, the most fun part of my job is I get to watch from beginning to end the creation of the show. I'm Colin Beaker, I'm the production stage manager and production manager for The Boy at the Edge of Everything. I have dual roles in the show. I'm first the production manager, kind of scheduling all um, rehearsals, scheduling all production meetings. As a production stage manager, my job is to uh, help the director with anything she needs in rehearsals, be kind of the liaison between the director and the designers. So basically what happens is I pick which lights I want to use and the colors that I want to put in them to create the world or in this case, worlds, um, for the show. Hi, I'm Christy Lee, and I'm the lighting designer for The Boy at the Edge of Everything. If you've ever seen those pictures of like the galaxy, the like swirls of the galaxy, there's a lot of blues and purples. And I'm using a lot of blue for Simon's world and a lot of purple for the boy's world to show that there's a different time and space. Um, literally. <laughs> and, um, I also use things like gobos, which are metal cutouts, basically stencils. In this show, I'm using leaf gobos to, with a green gel, which is the color, in front of it. And that way, you, for the outdoor scenes, like the bus stop and the soccer field, things like that, you're like, oh, okay, this is a space that I'm aware of. This is a space that I know. As I'm reading the characters' lines, I'm imagining what they, imagining what they look like and what they're, what's going on in the background. My name's David Schimmelman, and I'm the scenic designer and the technical director for this show. As the designer, I work closely with the director and analyze the script, figure out compromise between what she wants and what I believe the script is presenting visually. And then I execute that design through drawings and models. What I ended up doing is having our, we have two main pieces of scenery, and there are two sides of them that the audience sees when we change, when we switch worlds in the show. When you get it actually into the, the theater, it might sound completely different. Hi, I'm Lindsay Wagner, and I am the sound designer for The Boy at the Edge of Everything. Recordings are actually kind of another additional aspect other than just sound effects and music that people don't necessarily think of when they think of being a sound designer. So we took some table sequences, some voicemails, um, some space scene sequences so that I could kind of alter the voices. And we just sat in a room, basically set up a recording studio in an office. And then I try to tell their story through what they are wearing and show their relationships to each other and their environment. Hi, I am Nathan Garnsey and I am the costume designer for The Boy at the Edge of Everything. My inspiration for The Boy at the Edge of Everything was cartoons. A lot of times when you see animated shows, the a lot of characters have uh, certain silhouettes or shapes and I try to incorporate those shapes from character types to character types in this show. The character I can relate to the most is the sister Louise. She, I think, is a voice for young kids that just keeps it real. I think I relate a lot to the boy. Uh, I'm chaotically organized. Um, I feel like my, I'm just everything's going on at once. I'm just running from place to place, doing things, getting things done, having fun in the process. I definitely would say that I relate to Simon. 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 I like to put as much as possible on my schedule and just pack it all in, pack it all in until I am so stressed that I cannot take anymore. And that's when I know that I am stressed just the right amount. Um, so many things that Simon is able to verbalize about feeling overworked, about having um, so many things going on in his, his head. He's always doing something. He's in this world of clutter. And when he gets to the boys' world, he kind of gets to take a break from that. But then you kind of feel emptiness, like he feels when he eventually realizes there's nothing to do with That's him. kind of the goal of this play, is almost to show that 
a little bit of nothing is a good thing, but too much can make you, can alienate you.